Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be doing a review for a current, um, recent, I guess I should say, release from uh, Shout Factory, aka Scream Factory, for John Carpenter's The Fog. Um, I meant to do this review last week and just didn't get a chance to do uh, get to it. Um, I did uh, get this right after it was released. Um, it just came out two weeks ago, um, and that's just some amazing artwork there. Really love that slip cover. And of course, you have this side, and we'll get to more of the inside here in a second. Uh, I'm not going to review the film too much. Uh, I'm sure most people already know the story. You know about the the sunken ship. A hundred later years later, um, the people that was killed on the ship returned to Antonio Bay for revenge. Um, I've always really liked this film a lot. It's very atmospheric. Um, and I, you know, it, there's just a lot of cool scenes in this with the fog and, you know, the way their eyes glow. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not really scary. I wouldn't call this film scary or anything, but it's just very entertaining. I love it. You know, Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins, and then uh, what's his name there? I can't even remember his name. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a great cast, great atmospheric horror film from the 80s. Uh, I love John Carpenter's score in this. I think it's really cool. Um, but yeah, this new edition is really, really awesome. A lot of new special features on it. And of course, you know, here on the inside, you have that with the old artwork. And then this, of course, has the re reversible sleeve with the original artwork there. I love how they do these. I mean, I just, you know, I can't praise Screen Factory enough when it comes to stuff like this. Um... But as far as the extras go on this, uh, has the new 1080p high definition transfer, uh, supervised by cinematographer Dean Cundy, audio commentary with John Carpenter and writer producer Deborah Hill. Uh, I have not checked that out. That's that's one special feature I didn't listen to. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's ported over. I'm not exactly sure on that. It may be new. Uh, I'm sure it is because after that you have new audio commentary with actors Adrian Barbeau, Tom Atkins, and production designer Tommy Lee Wallace. Uh, new interview with Jamie Lee Curtis. That's really cool. You know, it's um, just a, like a 15 minute discussion of her talking about her whole career as far as horror films go and, and being like the original Scream Queen between Halloween, this, prom night. Um, Terror Train, Halloween 2. Uh, she talks about her experiences on the film, briefly goes through each film, and you know how she owes her career basically to John Carpenter for giving her a chance on Halloween. Uh, it's very cool to see her do that and get involved with this release. Uh, then you have Tales from the Mist, Inside the Fog featurette. Um, yeah, that was cool too. I mean, you know, it basically is what it what it says it is. Uh, fear on fear on film uh, inside the fog feature. It. If I'm not mistaken, that's one of them that was poured over. One of those two is poured over. One of them is new. Um, the the fog storyboard, the film feature. It. I did not check that one out. Um, but the next one, Horrors Hollow Ground, a, a new look at the film's locations. Very cool. Sean Car Clark always does an awesome job at these. Um, and it, it's very neat, you know, he goes around all the, the different locations and, you know, and they weren't able to get down to the actual uh, lighthouse area, but they got all that film, they got, and then at the end there's a, an extensive scene inside where they're showing inside the church, one of those, the church location from the film, and they're, <laughs> a surprise appearance from uh, somebody, a, a 80s horror movie actor shows up in this, and it's very entertaining and funny stuff that happens with him. And then you, of course, have outtakes, theatrical trailers, TV spots, and a photo gallery. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, it's really loaded down with the features. They really went all out for this release. You know, sometimes with the Screen Factory releases, you know, they never release some bare bones, but sometimes there's only a couple things, and then other times you get ones like this where they just load them down, and I'm really glad that they went all out for this film, because like I said, I've always really loved this film, and, you know, it's nice to see this one get such a great addition. And guys, the picture quality on this is great. It's definitely one of the best from Screen Factory yet. 
Um, I really, really love the transfer a lot. And if you've never seen the fog, you you certainly need to check this out. I mean, it just it, it's a great '80s horror film all the way around, and this is definitely the addition to get. So, guys, that's my review or my overview, I guess you could say, of the latest Screen Factory release. I hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one, guys. Later.